Greetings fellow Demon Slayers, this is Time and Amari here today with another video. For today's topic, I'm just going to go over what was leaked to us in the trailer that they put up on the official YouTube channel. And just a few other things that need to be said. Before doing so, I do want to start by saying we did break 200 members in the Discord. So thank you guys so much for joining up and for the support. It has been two, it will be two weeks tomorrow, and we already are at 200 people, so we're averaging about 100 members a week, which is really cool. It seems to be real, still really active, people are still chatting. There has to date not been a single argument, at least not that I've seen or that the mods have seen, so that's a great thing. It's a positive environment. Whether you're a new player or someone who's been playing since day one, if you want to come in, shoot the breeze, hang out, talk about the game or other things, you're more than welcome to. The link for that will be in the description. Now getting into what was in the trailer, it does just reveal that we will be getting our story quest, our main quest chapter 7 added. So that's great. The trailer um, did show a lot of Emily because in JP that was the chapter she was introduced. But it felt like they were showing a lot of Emily, if you get what I mean. To the point that I feel like they're probably going to hold off on Morisaki again and give us Emily. I don't know, I could be totally wrong or off base, but I'm just getting those vibes. If it works anything like the Shiranui character release did, we'll know who the next character is by Friday or Saturday of this week, because literally the week after they released Renko, the following week Shiranui's bundle was up, so they'll probably be teasing who the next character is, like I said, before the end of this week if they are going to release the next character next week. I think it's going to be Emily. I don't know. I just have this suspicion that they're going to skip over Morisaki again and force Emily out, which would be the case because that's the only other mileage skin I think I want. Like, I don't want it for Sue or Morisaki, so of course they'd screw me over and release her mileage when I can't afford it. But that's neither here nor there. I think it's going to be Emily. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll admit, yeah, okay, whatever, I made a mistake, but that's who I'm speculating. That's my guess. Whoever you guys think it may be, you can go ahead and shoot your guesses in the comments, I guess, but my money's on Emily being next. I just have this sneaking suspicion. Besides that, um, I mean, yeah, we are getting Chapter 7, as I stated, so... A good thing about that is you'll be able to get 50 gems per difficulty, so if you're able to clear through hard, that's another 150 gems that everyone will be able to get, so that's great. The only thing that really put me off about the trailer was the fact that it stated new enemies, and then it showed the same scythe zombie that we've been fighting since Vanilla. He just had crystals growing out of his back, but I'm pretty sure we fought those in the last chapter, like that recoloring of him. So, I don't know. It's not really a new enemy, but that's the only thing that really kind of bugged me. I was like, this isn't new. <laughs> anyway, on the subject of gems we are getting, the contest winners have been announced. I will post a link to that in the description. I'll also be putting the link to the trailer in the description as well. So that anyone who wants to look it over, it's only 30 seconds. You can click the link, give it a watch for yourself. And same for the contest winners, I'll put the link in the description to the Facebook so people can view it, see if they're the one that won, if they haven't already seen the news. Or just, if they're curious, the link will be there. Anyone who didn't win, we still get 50 gems. I know it's not really much and doesn't really help with anything. I mean, if you don't already have a bunch of gems saved, 50 gems isn't really going to do much for you. But it's something, so... I mean, there's that. Personally, I would have liked like a ticket or something for like an ultra rare or maybe like something cool they could have done is given out like a free character voucher ticket for, you know, free to plays. I think that would have been cool, but what have you, the consolation prize is 50 gems. We get what we get. So hopefully you were one of the people that got at least in the top 10. So you got a nice amount of gems. If not, don't spend your 50 gems in one place. Besides that, the only news that I can deliver is, of course, Mama is coming out. After the maintenance, she will be available for 1,000 gems if she stays the same price as Renko. 
So for anyone who's excited to play her, you know, make sure you have the gems on your account if you don't already. She will be available to buy. I am going to say this for people who care about PvP. She kind of feels really bad there. I don't really like her in PvP. I've heard from people who played in Japan that her clone was really powerful in PvP. But when her clone is used here, it kind of just stands there and does nothing. So, I don't know. She's great in PvE. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy her there. But as far as PvP, I don't really have a use for her. Over, like, Yuki, Sakura, and Renko. And Asagi is even better in PvP. Like, Asagi's really good in PvP. I just don't personally run her. Because my Asagi has crappy gear. Just like my Shiranui. She has crap gear, too. But... What have you. She's coming out. If you want to drop the 1,000 gems for her, she will be available. And then that'll give you all of this week and then the following two weeks if the new character bundle comes out next week to save for the next character. So if you're on if you're on your grind, you should be able to get the gems to get Shiranui and then whoever will be next. Emily, cough, cough. Besides that, that's really all I wanted to say. Oh, as far as Shiranui goes, if anyone missed the build video I did for her, I will go ahead and drop it in the description as well, the link to that, so you guys can go ahead and see it, see how I build her. The build, like I said, is 100% for PvE. I, I don't run her in PvP. And just mind you, my Shiranui was not blessed with the gacha, so it's going to be based around these two crappy weapons. As I was not lucky enough to get my hand on a Cockatiss or Shikigiri. So, just keep that in mind. Like, she'll be using super rares, but overall it's a decent build. Like, Yuki obviously just outdoes her in every single way because my Yuki's a spoiled brat. But if, you know, you need some guidance on how to play her, that build will be there in the description. That's really everything I wanted to cover for the day. Again, I will say thank you to everyone who has joined the Discord. Like, I really appreciate it. Like, I, it's so cool that we have 200 people. I did not, I did not at all expect it to to build up this fast. Like, if I'm being honest, I was expecting to maybe have 100 people in the server after like a month. So the fact that we have 200 in two weeks' time is just great. It shows you guys are really interested in the game, and that's what we need. We need community to keep this game alive we need players helping each other out so people don't feel discouraged and people don't quit the game due to like bad luck or any other salt that gotcha may cause like i'll be real with you guys i i wanted to quit the game after the shiranui gotcha i was really really salty but some people in the community you know talk me down from the ledge they're like you know your content helps and blah 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 and what have you and you have gear for so many other characters so I stuck it out even though my waifu pretty much like left me at the altar. So what I'm getting at is come join the Discord. It's, it's just a great healthy community overall. I'm sure anyone who joins will find a place there. Like whether you're new or experienced, everyone's willing to help each other. Everyone gets help no matter where they are in the game. So link will be in the description guys. With that, that will end the video. If you found it helpful or informative, please like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel. From there, I wish you guys a great rest of your day. I wish you guys good luck in the gacha and good luck in the arena. And congratulations to anyone who did win the contest. Any of the 10 people who did get the high amount of gems, congrats to you guys. I hope that they help you out with progressing your accounts. And I hope everyone is ready for Shiranui to drop, because she's really the highlight of the update tomorrow in my eyes. The fact that everyone can now use her. The Chapter 7 thing is kind of whatever to me. So anyway, with that, you guys have a great day and you take care.